Hello! If you're looking for a tutorial on how to properly clean your wigs, you've come to a place. If you keep on watching, you can check out the steps that I take to properly clean my lace front wigs. After a long week of work, you need to clean them or they will be disgusting. And if you want to find out how to make your wigs not look disgusting and fun and funky fresh, keep on watching. Before we submerge our wigs in water and cover them in shampoo, first we need to clean off the lace because the lace is what? Disgusting. Now as you can see, this lace has a lot of buildup. So with a dirty toothbrush and a lace glue remover, we need to remove the excess old Grotsky glue. I recommend the C22 spray. It's super effective and smells like you just drank three orange crushes and two shots of tequila. Mm. Gently spray the spray onto the lace and let it absorb into the lace and the glue. Citrusy. Once the spray has sat on there for some time, begin taking your dirty toothbrush and just really going at it. I recommend doing this on a flat surface so you can put a lot of pressure into it. How long will this take, you ask? A really long time, so I suggest going and purchasing a Netflix account and putting on your favorite movie. I'm watching Spy Kids 1. Now that we've relieved the lace of the excess glue and the Cortez family has saved the day, it's time to... It is time to wash the wig that I just set on fire. Fill up a bathtub with warm water. Scrub a dub dub, biatch. Once you have the bathtub filled, fully submerge the wig in water. This wig has not been treated with color, but even if it hasn't, or has, it's always important to use a sulfate-free shampoo. I'm going to be using Shea Moisture Strength and Color Care Shampoo. I got this from Ulta. We're now going to fully saturate the wig with shampoo. Nobody likes a dirty bit. Mmm, smells not like regret. Now we're gonna gently dip the wig in the water, like we're baptizing it, only a lot more ratchet. And surprise, for today's video, we have a sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Coco and Eve. Let me tell you a little bit about this brand. They wanna let you know that your unbelievably amazing hair journey starts schmear. <coughs> Inspired by the volcanic beaches and coconut plantations of Bali, our mask is designed to not only make your hair look, feel, and smell amazing, but also provide endless health and benefits too. Coco and Eve, like a virgin. I can't relate. So when you get this hair product, it's their giant hair mask. This is a lot of product. And they give you this little brush to brush through the product in the hair. And they also give you this cool little hair cap. I actually have the hair mask in my hair right now because my hair is a disgusting mess. So the first thing you want to do with this hair mask is shampoo your hair. <laughs> Smells clean. They suggest using a sulfate free sh <laughs> They suggest using a sulfate free shampoo, which we did. Next, we're going to evenly coat this mask all the way over the wig from the roots to the ends and leave it on for 10 minutos. Ooh, wah! Uh, yes, sir! Uh. I'm going to really concentrate this on the ends because let's be honest, they're dead as a doornail. 
Now I'm going to take the handy dandy Coco Eve brush and brush the product through. Now this mask is awesome because it is infused with coconut, fig, shea butter, linseed, and argan oil. And all of these ingredients are going to help bring the hair back to its pure virgin state. Like a virgin, touch my no. Their formula delivers hydration from root to tip to make your hair go from blah to yes. Now all of my wigs get a lot of styling done to them and a lot of heat damage and all seriousness. So a lot of hydration and just kind of moisturization in the hair is super important to me. So I'm really happy that this is going to get me back to some silky tresses, mama. Ew. Now this hair isn't dyed, but this is safe on dyed hair. Now y'all know I wear a lot of multicolored wigs, so this is gonna be perfect because you can use it on colored hair. It is color safe. This also successfully gets rid of frizz, Miss Frizzy, and it makes the hair super glossy. So yeah, let's get 10 minutes on the clock and get a crack in. All right, so it's been 10 minutos, and I actually additionally added another wig in here to clean it because it was also gross. So now we're gonna rinse out the excess mask and see how soft and fun and funky fresh this wig is feeling. Side note, this mask is vegan and cruelty free and it is not tested on the animals. Meow. Now I'm just going to gently brush through these guys with a tangle tamer comb and then we're just going to leave them to hang and air dry and then we will be back shortly to style. Alright guys, so I just took my hair out of the hair wrap and here are the final results. I'm just kidding, but seriously, uh, this was the second wig that I washed. This one was really crusty and dusty and gross from before, but I got the hairline all nice and clean and I applied the hair mask in there and it feels really good. Like this feels really clean and soft. So like, So, so far I'm super impressed by this hair mask. It's the first time I incorporated this into my hair styling routine. So now we're gonna go ahead and continue with styling on the black hair post hair mask and shampoo. So as you guys can see, after post wash and mask, this hair is looking super pretty and silky and smooth. I'm really able to like easily run my fingers through it and it, and it smells really clean. It doesn't smell all gross like it did before. So yeah, I'm super happy with the way this mask made the hair feel. Now I am going to be incorporating another product and this is super exciting, something new I'm playing with. And this is a two-step treatment by the hair company Chevalour. Now this is a spray for wigs. You can use this on human hair or synthetic hair. And this is nice because you literally just take these two sprays and you spray them within the wig and in the hair. And what this does is it gets rid of all the gross buildup in the hair, like any germs. And it's really nice because it's good to get rid of smell too. So it's going to eliminate all odor from the wig. So if like you're in a club and there's like smokers or you're a smoker and you don't want the wig to smell like that or your sweaty Betty spaghetti and your wig's getting a little ratchina sparks uh yeah you can spray this two-step spray in there and your wig will smell good to go and again this is the Chevalure two-step cleansing control system so the first thing we're going to do is hit the wig with step one and this is the cleansing step so we're just going to spray this uniformly and evenly inside of the wig i'm going to hit a little bit on the outside too so we're just going to shake shake it like taylor swift and again, this is just gonna help kind of cleanse it and eliminate any odor, any bacteria, especially if you have a sweaty, sweaty head. Sweaty, 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 spaghetti, Betty head. I'm just gonna eliminate it. So this human hair that I got from the factory, even after washing it, it did have that like nice smell from the hair mask, but I still kind of smelled that like, I got this hair from a hair factory from God knows where at this point, but the smell really did go away. <laughs> and then it says we're just gonna allow this to dry for four to six minutes before applying step two. So uh, while that's drying, I'm just gonna apply it to my wig head. Side note, I will say I really love the way that um, having that hair mask in there made the hair dry in this wet look. It kind of, it's funny because it said it made it return to like its natural kind of like virgin state, but it really does look really pretty and like the curls look 
like uniformly wavy. I really love it. I would leave it like this, but I need it for one of my Halloween videos. So uh, yeah. So we're gonna go back in and take our Coco and Eve brush and we're just gonna kind of smooth all this back. And again, this little brush is for detangling. All right, so now that it's been about four to six minutes, we're gonna go ahead and spray step two into the wig. So we're just gonna go ahead and hit the outside of the wig. And then I'm just gonna kind of lift up the back and we're gonna get the inside. All right, now it says we should be good to go with blow drying. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna blow this sucker out. And I'm just gonna blow dry and smooth this with this uh, blow drying round brush from Revlon. All right, well now that she is nice and blown out, we finished that out. I will say my first initial thing that I noticed is that the hair feels like a hell of a lot thicker. It definitely feels healthier. The hair feels like it has more weight to it, which is a good thing because I like my hair to feel nice and thick. So I will definitely say that with all the treatments, the hair definitely feels a lot, a lot thicker. So that's really nice. Feels super healthy, silky smooth. I can really run my fingers through it really nice and easy. So we love all that. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and give homegirl a base tease and then we're gonna curl her. All right, now that we've given little Miss Baby Girl a base tease, it is now time to curl her. All right, now that we have her nice and curled, we're just gonna go ahead and run our fingers through it a little bit, just to kind of loosen the curls out a little bit. This definitely feels a lot, a lot, a lot healthier than what it started. It was feeling a little dry, a little damaged from all the shows and all the styling done to it. Now it feels really thick and hydrated. All right, I wanna try her on. Have you ever seen a beautiful, shiny-haired woman? Oh my god, this looks so healthy. Yes, there's definitely a difference using the products that I use today. I'm super happy with the results. All right, guys, well, that about wraps up my tutorial on how to achieve beautiful, silky, smooth, sexy hair. Mm. So I hope you guys enjoyed learning about all of these products I showed you guys today and the steps that I get to get beautiful, silky, lovely tresses. Side note, one candle was harmed in the making of this video. So these steps can be used on either a human or a synthetic wig, and either if you want to achieve luscious, blown out curls, or a sexy, beachy, wet look. If you guys are interested in any of the products I used in today's video, they will all be linked down below, so go check them out. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to achieve these pretty hair looks. And if you guys are not already, make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you know when I am posting new content and make sure you like this video because it took me a lot of time and the hair looks really pretty, you know what I mean? Like, look how shiny and beautiful. No candle wax or nothing. All right guys, as always, yes. yes.